Good morning, Grade Twos, and welcome to this week's English lesson. This week, we're going to talk all about transport. Now, tell me before we get started: Have you ever travelled somewhere? Maybe you travel to school. How do you get to school? Do you drive with a car? Maybe you take a bus or a taxi. Maybe you even ride on your bicycle. But what happens when we go on holiday? Sometimes we can take a car or a bus or a taxi if it's just in another town or in South Africa. But let's say we wanted to go to the beach in Hawaii. How would we get there? We would either have to go by boat or by airplane. But there's one other form of transport: the train. Sometimes we might take a train to school or to get to another town. But could we go across the ocean with a train? No. So let's get started on our reading piece. Before we start our story, let's talk about some icky, tricky words that we might find. Submarine, a watercraft capable of operating underwater. Motorized, a vehicle or device that has a motor to operate it. Transportation, movement of people, animals, or goods from one place to another. Far away, meaning distant. And there you can see the girl looking to see if she can see what is far away. Vehicle, something used to transport people or goods. Let's read the story. There are so many ways to travel. The most common way to travel is probably in some type of motorized vehicle. If you are traveling with your family and you are not going far away, you could take a car. If you want to go somewhere with a lot of people, you could go in a van or bus. If you need to travel through the water, boats are another kind of transportation. We can go on small boats to travel to a close place, and big ships can take us to far away lands. Submarines travel in the water also. They go way down into the water. Aeroplanes are also a great way to travel. Many people choose to fly in an aeroplane if they need to go far away and want to get there quickly. An aeroplane is fun to ride in because you can see the Earth from way up high. That was a lovely, informative story, wasn't it? Let's answer some questions. The main idea of the story is: A. There are many ways to travel. B. Aeroplanes can go fast. Or C. You should just stay at home. Which is it? A, B, or C? That's right. A. There are many ways to travel. What type of transport would you use to travel through the water? Would you use an aeroplane or a car? That's right. Boats. Why would someone choose to travel in an aeroplane? Because they can get there quickly. Where can a big ship take us? Did you listen? Well done, far away lands. Why is an aeroplane fun to ride in? You can see the Earth from up high. Well done. Now let's look at this week's sight words. Who? Say it with me. 
Hu, hu, hu. Whoa. Say it with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ride. Say it with me. Ride, ride, ride. Hour. Say it with me. Hour, hour, hour. New. Say it with me. New, new, new. Right, now that we have our sight words, let's look at this week's memory sentence. Let's read it together. Who will ride in our new white car? Let's read it again. Who will ride in our new white car? Now, if I had to take a few words out, would you still remember it? Let's see. Who will ride mm, our mm, white car? Did you remember the missing words? Well done. Let's look at this week's phonics. Pay close attention. Who and what? When and where? Why and how? All these words are the ones you'll use when you want an answer now. Let's see what sound we heard. The W sound. A W and a H together make a W sound. The H sound is silent. Let's look at some of the words we found. Who? What? When? Why? And where? Well done! Next, we're going to talk about tenses. Okie dokie, welcome back everybody. Um, as you can see on my board, we are going to be doing tenses. And you will see that I have a combination or a mixture of sentences here on my board. I have past tense, present tense, and future tense sentences on my board, okay? So I'm going to ask you to change the first one into the past tense, the second one into the present tense, and the last one into the future tense. All right. But before we start, how do we know which word to change in the sentence? What word do I change? I change the verb, the doing word. And how on earth can I find the doing word in a sentence? I ask the question, can I? Alright, so let's do the first sentence together. Peleka shares with Luniko. What tense is the sentence in? It is happening right now. It's happening today. So it is a present tense sentence. But I want to change it into a past tense sentence. So let's find our verb so that we can change it. Can I peleka? Mm -hmm. Can I shares? Mm -hmm. So that's the word that I'm going to change. That is my verb, shares. So, today Peleka shares with Luniko. Yesterday Peleka shared with Luniko. So I'm just going to change shares to shared. Alright, let's do the next sentence. Stephen gave Mbalentle a flower. Oh, Stephen, aren't you sweet? So, what tense is this sentence in? It is happened. Oh, it already happened because he gave Mbalentle a flower. So, it is already a past tense sentence. But I want you to change it to a present tense sentence, which means it's happening now. So, let's find our verb in the sentence. Can I, Stephen? Mm -mm. Can I, Gabe? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to change the word gave. So if yesterday Stephen gave Mbalentle a flower, then today Stephen gives. So I'm going to change my sentence or my word, my verb, from gave to gives and now the sentence says 
Stephen gives Mbalenhle a flower. Well done. <clears throat> the last sentence says, Angela and Smalingne feed the birds. What kind of sentence is this? What tense is it in? It is in a today sentence, so it is a present tense sentence. But I want to change it to a future tense sentence. So what am I going to add? What is our magic word? Will. But let's first find our verb. Can I, Angela? Mm -mm. Can I, and? Mm -mm. Can I, Smalingne? Mm -mm. Can I, feed? Mm -mm. So I'm going to change the word feed. But do I need to change the word if it's a future tense sentence? Mm -mm. Let's quickly read it so that we can hear how it sounds. Today, Angela and Smalingne feed the birds. But tomorrow, Angela and Smalingne will feed the birds. So here, all I do is I add the word will. And that means it will happen tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed that and that you are going to practice some of these sentences.